Hello grade 9 students, ang lesson natin ngayon ay solving word problems involving quadratic inequalities. So dito sa topic na ito, kailangan alam nyo muna yung mga important phrases na magti-trigger sa inequality symbol. Okay. So makikita nyo dito, these are the phrases na kung saan uh, ang symbol niya ay inequality. So, the phrases should not exceed, is less than, is more than, is greater than, at least, at most, range of distances, range of cost, and alike are indicators of inequalities. So, yan. Yan yung mga uh, possible possible phrases na may encounter natin sa word problems na isosolve natin. Okay. So, eto, tinable ko siya. So, ito yung phrase. Kapag ang phrase nyo ay should not exceed, ang symbol ay less than or equal. So, possible dyan, apat yung uh, phrase na, phrases na iisa ang parehas sa symbol. So, less than or equal yung symbol. So, should not exceed is less than or equal at most maximum of. Yan yung mga apat na phrases na possible na ang symbol ay less than or equal. Pag ang symbol naman ay greater than or equal, okay, itong greater than or equal, is greater than or equal at least minimum of. Ito yung mga phrases na equivalent niya ay greater than or equal. So, pag less than naman, ito, is less than below. So, pwede dalawa. Pag may nabasa kayong below, less than din yun. Okay. Symbol, greater than. So, dito, is greater than or above. Not equal. Is not equal not including. Okay, so ito yung mga phrases na makikita natin sa problems na ipapalit nating symbol ay, ay itong uh, inequality symbol na ito. Okay, so let's start. So first example, we have solved the following problems. So first problem is Rod is preparing to expand his lot for a car wash business. The lot measures 12 meters by 20 meters. And he wants to expand the size by adding an equal distance to two of its sides as shown. So, anong as shown? Ito. Yan. So, nagdagdag siya ng, ng x. x distance. Represented by a variable. Okay, hindi natin alam yung dinagdag niya dyan, kaya X. Okay, however, the new lot with expansion should not exceed, okay, 345 square meters. What range of distances in meters can Rod add in his lot? Okay, so meaning to say, from this original picture, pwede nating sabihin na ang uh, width natin ay x plus 12. Kasi, may x ka na doon, may 12 meters pa sa original na dinagdag. Na dinagdagan ng x. Okay? Tapos dito sa uh, new length ay x plus 20. Ba, dahil nagdagdag kayo ng x sa 20. So, pwedeng 20 plus x or x plus 20. So, inuna ko lang yung variable. Again, pwedeng 12 plus x or x plus 12, pwedeng 20 plus x or x plus 20. So, mas, ma, mas madali kasi pag una yung variable. Okay. So, ang area natin, kasi sinabi dyan, the area should not exceed by 345. So, ang length times width natin, because of this word, should not exceed, dapat, ang symbol natin is less than or equal to 345. Yun ang binigay na area. It should be less than or equal. Because should not exceed based on the uh, phrase. 
Okay, ngayon isasubstitute natin tong x plus 12 tsaka x plus 20 sa length, length and width. Ayan. So, x plus 20 yung length, x plus 12 yung width. Less than or equal to 345. Okay. I-foil natin. So, nagkaroon tayo ng x squared plus 32x plus 240. Okay. Less than or equal to 345. Ngayon, para maging 0 tong 345, kailangan natin mag-minus ng kamukha niya. 345. So, both sides. So, x squared plus 32x plus 24 minus 345 is less than or equal to 345 minus 345. Para maging 0 to. Nag-minus lang tayo nito. Same side. Or simply, transfer. Change the sign. So, una kong turo. So, it becomes x squared plus 32x minus 105 is less than or equal to 0. Okay. Since this is less than or equal to 0, I-equate muna natin siya into equal to 0 as quadratic. Then factor, para maging quadratic muna siya, quadratic equation. Then we can use factoring to solve for the roots. And the roots are negative 35 and 3. So this is, this is our R sub 1, root 1, or root and root 2. Okay, so... If we use the table in the previous lesson, if our quadratic inequality is ax squared plus bx plus c is less than 0, ito yung solution set niya. x is greater than or equal to r sub 1 but less than or equal to r sub 2. Okay, where r sub 1 is less than r sub 2. So, alin ang mas mababa dito? So, itong negative 35. So, ito yung r sub 1. Yung x equals 3, ito yung r sub 2. So, substituting, it becomes uh, x is greater than or equal to negative 35 but less than or equal to 3. So, x is greater than or equal to negative 35 but less than or equal to 3. Yan po ang basa dyan. But this is not the final answer. Not the, this is not the final answer. Why? Because distance, we, we are asking for a range of distance and the distance is always positive. So, this negative 35 up to negative 1 are not included. So, it becomes x is greater than or equal to 0. So, mas mula sa 0 hanggang 3. So, yun yung value niya. Included ang 0 and 3. So, our final answer is x is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 3. So, this is now the final range of distance because it should not be negative. Okay? So, inalis lang natin yung negative 35 up to negative 1. Okay, next problem. Okay, let's proceed to problem number 2. Vanessa has 180 feet of fencing that she intends to use to build a rectangular play area for her dog. She wants the play area to enclose at least 1,800 square feet. What are the possible integral widths of the play area? So, una natin titingnan, ano ba yung 180 feet na given? So, yung 180 feet, yan po yung fencing. Fencing means perimeter. So, yung perimeter na yan, it will enclose the rectangular play area. Kaya po siya naging perimeter because it will enclose the rectangular play area. So, ang 180 natin stands for P. So, P is equal to 180. Then, ang formula ng uh, perimeter natin, so itong letter P na to, pinalitan natin ng formula na 2 times L plus W is equal to 180. Then, i-divide natin yung 2 dyan, both sides, left and the right. So, magiging L plus W is equal to 90. Nag-divide tayo ng 2. Since ang pinapahanap ay integral widths, length ang ating gagamiting variable. So, lipat natin tong positive W sa kabila. So, magiging length or L is equal to 90 minus W. So, length is equal to 90 minus width. Okay. 
the next given is 1,800 square feet. What is that? It's the area. So, pag sinabi nating area, length times width yon is equal to area. Ngayon, sinabi dito, at least, okay? Ayan. So, at least ang sinasabi. So, at least, ibig sabihin, pinakamababa daw yung 1,800 square feet. Pataas. So, it's greater than or equal. So, length times width is greater than or equal to 1,800. Ngayon, itong L na to, papalitan natin itong 90 minus W, itong L dito. So, magiging 90 minus W times W is greater than or equal to 1,800. Okay, distribute natin itong W sa binomial na 90 minus W. So, magiging 90W minus W squared is greater than or equal to 1,800. Ngayon, transfer natin itong dalawang uh, expressions na to sa right side kasi negative yung quadratic term natin para maging positive. So, yung 90W magiging negative 90W dito. Yung negative W squared magiging positive W squared dito sa right side. So, ito na po siya. Naka-arrange into a standard form. Ngayon, this is inequality. Gawin muna natin quadratic equation ito. Tapos, itong trinomial na to uh, pagpapalitin natin dito sa zero by symmetric property. Okay, pero pag sinabi natin quadratic inequality, in-apply natin symmetric property, magbabagon din yung symbol na to. From greater than or equal, magiging less than or equal. So, yan na po siya. So, this is now our final quadratic inequality. Okay, so W squared minus 90W plus 1,800 is less than or equal to 0. Okay, mula sa greater than or equal, naging less than or equal. Okay, kasi we use symmetric. Ngayon, factorable ba ito? So, pag pinactor natin, gawin muna natin siyang quadratic equation na equals. So, the two factors are W minus 60 times W minus 30. These are the factors. Then, the roots are uh, W equals 60 and W equals 30. So, which is smaller? So, this is smaller. So, this is R sub 1. This is our R sub 2. Okay. So, since greater than or uh, less than or equal ito, final quadratic inequality natin ito. So, ito gagamitin natin. Ayan. So, ax squared plus bx plus c is less than or equal to 0. So, ang solution set natin ay x is greater than or equal to r sub 1 but less than or equal to r sub 2. Okay. Substitute natin. Ito yung r sub 1. Ito yung r sub 2. So, w is greater than or equal to 30 but less than or equal to 60. Okay. Now, tinatanong possible integral widths. So, inti integers lang po ang titinan natin na pwede sa width. So, mula sa 30 hanggang 60, ano-ano yung mga integers dyan? Kas including 30 tsaka 60, ah. So, the possible integral widths of the play area are 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, and so on. Lahat ng integers hanggang 60 feet. Okay. So, yan po yung final... Answer, possible integral widths. So, marami po. Marami pong possible integral widths. Okay, let's have the third problem. A tennis ball is hit into the air. The height of the ball, h of t, in feet, at time t, in seconds, is modeled by the equation h of t is equal to negative 16t squared plus 64t plus 4. Determine the interval of time when the height of the ball is less than 52 feet. So, alam natin na itong trinomial na to, this represents the height. It's h of t. Sabi dito, ang height daw natin dapat less than 52. So, in symbol, this trinomial, 
six, negative 16t squared plus 6040 plus 64 is less than 52. Because it is stated there, less than 52 feet. So, ano daw yung time interval na marireach natin yung less than 52 feet? Lahat ng less than 52 feet. So, una natin gagawin is zero natin tong 52 by subtracting both sides by negative 52. So, minus 52 both sides. Or simply transfer 52, it becomes negative. Pwede din yun. So, it's up to you kung saan kayo, saan kayo nasanay. So, dito now, 0 na to. Tapos, itong four, positive 4 tsaka negative 52 pagsasamahin. Because they are both con constants. So, magiging negative 16t squared plus 64t minus 48. Because, greater absolute value tong negative 48. So, negative 48, then you subtract, is less than 0. Now, it's very difficult to factor this because you have negative 16 in your quadratic term. So, if we can divide all the terms by negative 16, uh, it will become easier. So, I think everything is divisible by negative 16. So, we will divide it all the terms by negative 16. So, negative 16 divided by negative 16, it becomes t squared. Positive 64 divided by negative 16 equals negative 4, t. Then, negative 48 divided by negative 16, it becomes positive 3. Then, this is still 0. Any number, uh, 0 divided by any number is still 0. So, ito na po yung pinaka- Simplest form niya. T squared minus 40 plus 3. Bakit naging greater than 0? Kasi, kapag nag-multiply or nag -de divide tayo ng negative number, it will reverse the inequality. So, pag, pag less than dito, magiging greater than siya after ng division. So, nag-divide kasi tayo ng negative. Pero, pag positive ang pinang-divide, uh, walang mangyayari. So, since negative yan, nag-reverse ang symbol natin. It becomes greater than. So, pwede na itong uh, gawing quadratic equation. So, t squared minus 40 plus 3 equals 0. Quadratic equation na po siya para ma-factor natin at makuha natin yung roots. So, ang ating uh, factors ay t minus 3 times t minus 1. So, ang ating roots ay t equals 3 at t equals 1. So, alin dito ang r sub 1, alin dito ang r sub 2. So, ito yung r sub 1, ito yung r sub 2 kasi mas mababa to. So, yung 1, uh, smaller dapat kaysa sa 2. So, since greater than ang symbol natin sa quadratic inequality natin, ito po yung ating solution set. Papalitan lang natin yung r sub 1 tsaka r sub 2. So, x is less than r sub 1 or x is greater than r sub 2. So, ulitin ko ang r sub 1 natin yung mas mababa. So, 1 po yung r sub 1. r sub 2 ay 3. So, substitute natin. So, t, letter t kasi ang ating variable instead of x. So, t yan. t is less than r sub 1 which is 1. Or t is greater than r sub 2 which is 3. Okay, so this is in set notation. So, if we're going to use interval notation, that means... If x is less than 1, so mula lahat ng less than 1, negative infinity yon up to 1. So, mula negative infinity hanggang 1. Uh, parenthesis kasi wala naman tayong or equal. Pero kung may or equal dyan, iba bracket natin to. Since wala naman, wala namang or equal na symbol, ah, uh, parenthesis lang ang gamit natin. And then yung or, ang, ang symbol nyan ay union. That means union. Then, t is greater than 3. So, lahat ng mataas sa 3. So, mula sa 3, hindi kasali yung 3, kaya parenthesis. So, 3 hanggang pataas, positive infinity. So, ito po yung tinatawag nating interval notation. So, yung lagay kasi dyan, what determine the interval of time. So, I think this is the answer, but... but it is not stated 
whether it is interval notation or uh, set notation. This, these two, both are correct. Both are correct if it is not stated what notation to be used. Okay, so this is now the interval time. Okay, what is our time? Seconds. So this is in seconds. Okay, so that's all. This will be our lesson for today. And you can repeat this video in Google Classroom. I'll post this. Okay, and then you can uh, watch again.